In the recent days, the president has decided to crack the whip on those who have refused to turn down on politics and deliver on the promises they made to the electorate before 2017 elections. Some members allied to the deputy president, William Ruto, have shown utmost defiance to the president's directive on different occasions. <laughs> We are not kids. We reason like you. We can see. Me na tanga ni kumbi rais. Na kuku demberesi ni kuku pike kura. Ni serikali kura kwa. Kuku angi. Ni mwenye na kusema ati ita ni kwa itungu. Jana kwa ni mwenye na kwa. Uzitwambi ya mambo ya kutini because you are controlling even the court. Now, you use all the powers you want with the government. Hata mchukue chama na ngufu. Hata mfanye ni lakini do you have the people? On Monday the ruling party held a meeting where it was resolved that the majority leader in the Senate Kipchumba Murkomen and the chief whip senator Susan Kiheka be immediately replaced by Samuel Pogisio and Irungu Kangata respectively. Some of the senators ignored the invitation in showing solidarity with the deputy president who apparently has not been in good terms with his boss. The ousted senators seem determined to fight for what they have termed as an illegality in regards to the manner in which they were hounded out of their respective positions in the Senate. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, if the only agenda for our party Jubilee has been wrangles from 2018 up to now, not focusing on delivery of services, if the greatest achievement of the President of Kenya is to demonstrate to the people of this country that I have removed my majority leader, I'm a... While addressing the Senate House, Kipchumba Morkomen appeared emotional and getting rather personal with the President by referring to him as a liar. A statement that the Senator James Orengo terms as disrespectful to the President and insisted he withdraws aid. I want to tell the President, stop lying to the Senate. You told us you will give us oversight fund. Bring the oversight burden to the Senate if Murkomen was the stumbling block. It is only Mr. Speaker. If I was the only reason, Mr. Speaker, that Senate was not being protected, I want to say, Mr. Speaker, that it is time. Order, order, Senate. Mr. Speaker, it is time. There's a point of order. There's a point of order. Mr. Speaker, there's a point of order. Order. The drama seemed to be far from over after the party went ahead to suspend the senators who were absent in the Monday meeting. Millicent Omanga is among nominated senators who have been expelled from the party. She has always shown unwavering support for William Ruto through her official social media account and accompanying him to various functions. She will be remembered as being a vocal and fearless defender of the vice president when it was alleged that he was part of the fraud involving the money's men for Aral and Kimorel dams. Other senators expelled alongside Millicent include Wako Naomi Njilo, Pregay Victor, Miriane, and Iman Farhad Deka. In a sudden turn of events, some of the members allied to the deputy president have shifted their allegiance and reaffirmed their support to President Uhuru Kenyatta in a typical show of how to survive in the Kenyan political circles.